Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla and SpaceX, is locked in a war for AI engineering talent with Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI. This is a battle of the tech titans. Both companies are racing to develop the most advanced AI technology and are willing to do whatever it takes to recruit the best and brightest engineers in the field. Both men are determined to win and the stakes are high. But who will come out on top? A brief overview of Elon Musk and Sam Altman and their respective companies. Let's start by taking a closer look at Elon Musk. Elon Musk is a man of many talents. He's a serial entrepreneur, a visionary and a polarizing figure in the tech world. But it all started with his first big success, the company known as Zip2. In 1995, Musk co-founded Zip2 with his brother Kimball Musk. Zip2 was a web software company that helped newspapers and businesses create their online city guides. The company was an instant success, and in 1999, it was sold to Compaq for $307 million. Musk walked away with $22 million, which he used to fund his next venture, X. X, later renamed PayPal, was an online payments company that would eventually revolutionize the way we pay for things online. But getting there wasn't easy. In the early days, there was intense competition from other startups, and PayPal went through several near-death experiences. But it eventually prevailed, and in 2002, it was acquired by eBay for $1.5 billion. Once again, Musk walked away with a sizable chunk of change. With his newfound fortune, Musk turned his attention to his next big idea, SpaceX. Founded in 2002, SpaceX is a space exploration company that aims to make space travel more accessible and affordable. But SpaceX is just one part of Elon Musk's story. There's also Tesla, Neuralink and a host of other ventures. Each one is ambitious and daring in its way, but they all share one thing in common – Elon Musk's vision and drive. Now let's turn our attention to Sam Altman. He is the CEO of OpenAI, a non-profit AI research company based in San Francisco. He's also the former president of Y Combinator, one of the world's most prestigious startup accelerators. He's known for his bold vision for the future of AI and for his willingness to take risks. Under his leadership, OpenAI has made significant progress in the field of AI, but it still faces stiff competition from other companies. While Elon Musk had been interested in AI for some time, it wasn't until he founded OpenAI that he became a leading figure in the field. OpenAI was founded in 2015, and from the start, it was clear that Musk had big plans for the company. He wanted to ensure that AI was developed responsibly and that it was used for the benefit of humanity, not for nefarious purposes. After co-founding OpenAI, Elon Musk remained involved with the company for a time. However, in early 2018, he decided to step down from his role as a co-chair of the board of directors. According to OpenAI, this was done to avoid any potential conflicts of interest, as Tesla was working on self-driving car technology that could be seen as competing with OpenAI's goals. Since Elon Musk left OpenAI, he has been in a battle with Sam Altman to create the best AI technology. OpenAI has been working hard to keep up with the competition, but it's been a challenge. Some have speculated that the competition between Musk and Altman is a personal one, but it's more likely that they simply have different visions for the future of AI. The Competition Musk launched Grok through his new venture XAI in July last year, after previously hinting at creating an alternative to successful products like the Supreme ChatGPT. Grok AI is a chatbot that operates using a powerful language model called Grok1. Although we don't have specific details about Grok One's capabilities yet, we know that its predecessor, Grok Zero, was trained with an impressive 33 billion parameters. The name Grok is taken from The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, a popular comedy science fiction series that first appeared as a BBC radio show in 1978. According to Oxford Languages, Grok means to understand something deeply and intuitively. Grok AI joins a growing lineup of AI chatbots that includes ChatGPT, Google Bard, Claude AI, Meta AI and others. Grok AI is designed to engage with users and provide information or assistance based on its training and programming. It leverages advanced natural language processing NLP techniques to comprehend and respond to a wide range of queries and prompts. Similar to its counterparts, Grok AI aims to enhance user experiences by simulating natural conversations. It can assist with tasks like answering questions, offering recommendations, or even providing entertainment through engaging dialogues. This chatbot operates by processing text input and generating appropriate responses using machine learning algorithms. Its underlying model is continuously evolving and improving based on user interactions and feedback. Grok AI is part of a broader trend towards AI-powered chatbots that are becoming increasingly sophisticated and versatile. 
As these technologies advance, they have the potential to revolutionize how we interact with digital platforms and services. But here's the thing, ChatGPT operates using a vast collection of data, much larger than what Grok AI uses. This extensive dataset empowers ChatGPT to produce creative and diverse content, covering a wide range of topics and inquiries. On the other hand, Grok AI stands out for its ability to deliver up-to-date information and provide witty, sometimes rebellious responses, thanks to its integration with X. This unique communication style sets Grok AI apart from ChatGPT. ChatGPT first launched in November 2022 with both free and premium versions, quickly building a large user base due to its multifaceted abilities, including text and video generation. Its functionalities can be further expanded through third-party plugins accessible from the plugin drop-down menu. In contrast, Grok AI is still in its early stages. According to Elon Musk, once Grok AI exits its beta phase, it will become available to premium subscribers of X worldwide. Users opting for the paid version of ChatGPT gain access to GPT-4 LLM and numerous other advanced features that are currently not available in Grok AI. Their strategies, but Elon Musk isn't backing out anytime soon. He recently discussed how Tesla Inc. is working hard to keep its artificial intelligence specialists who have been moving to his new AI startup. Tesla is now offering better pay and bonuses tied to performance for its AI engineering team, Musk shared on X, his social platform. Responding to a report about his new venture, XAI, poaching engineers from Tesla, Musk described the competition for talent as the craziest talent war I've ever seen. The movement of staff from Musk's flagship company to his latest venture raises questions about potential conflicts and governance within his business empire. In January, Musk suggested he might pursue AI and robotics projects elsewhere unless he gains more voting control at Tesla. A few weeks later, a Delaware court cancelled a large stock award that Tesla's board had granted him in 2018. And a recent report revealed that Ethan Knight, a key member of Tesla's computer vision team for advanced driving systems, left last month to join XAI. Musk mentioned that OpenAI also tried to recruit Knight. Musk explained on X that Knight had to choose between XAI and OpenAI, which has been aggressively hiring Tesla engineers with attractive compensation packages. Last year, Tesla lost Andre Karpathy, its senior AI director, to OpenAI, where he contributed to developing ChatGPT's large language model. Karpathy left Tesla early this year. Despite the departures, Musk emphasized that Tesla's AI and autonomy team still boasts over 200 talented engineers and is making rapid progress in advancing autonomy. As for Sam Altman, he is making big moves. In early February, he caught everyone's attention by proposing a massive global investment of $5 to $7 trillion to develop advanced chips for the next generation of AI systems. This eye-popping sum, nearly a quarter of the US federal budget, left many industry experts stunned. Altman's goal is to tackle major challenges in the AI sector, particularly the shortage of chips and semiconductors crucial for powering large language models like OpenAI's ChatGPT. According to the Wall Street Journal, Altman believes that significantly more powerful computing is necessary for AI to eventually surpass human intelligence. He recently engaged in talks with potential investors in the United Arab Emirates, as reported by the Business Daily. Now, the truth is, even with all of this investment, it's still unclear who will come out on top. Will Musk's vision for AI prevail, or will Altman's more cautious approach win out? Only time will tell. Who do you think will win? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.